Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and I want you to be completely honest with me. There's an alarm in the background making so much noise. Can you hear it? Is it bothersome? I don't know if it translates into the video. I really hope it doesn't. <laughs> oh, it stopped! It stopped! Okay, awesome. Welcome Pisces, <laughs> welcome to this space. Sorry for the weird introduction. Um, today we're gonna be doing a stalker's reading, but this one is gonna be a three main energies reading. What does that mean? We're gonna be focusing on the three main energies that are focusing a lot on you, Pisces, and we're gonna see why. Is there people hating on you, crushing on you, resentful towards you? Let's see, let's find out. This is, a light-hearted reading. We're not actually talking about stalkers. It's just the name that for some reason somehow it's just stuck here in the channel and yeah that's what we're going with. So get comfy, maybe get yourself something to drink. If you would like to support the channel, support me, I really appreciate it. You can like this video, you can subscribe, it's free and it helps tons. Alrighty. Spirit, angels, beings of love and light, please bring in the most relevant and important accurate messages for Pisces. And tell Pisces who is thinking a lot about them right now and why. Three main energies. Please be specific, give us a lot of clarity, bring in as much context as possible. Who is thinking a lot about Pisces right now and why? Okay, we got here Seven of Pentacles. Today we're using the Crazy Cat Tarot, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's the name of it. Someone here is comparing themselves to you, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be necessarily something negative. It doesn't have to necessarily be filled with jealousy, okay? The only thing is that they are paying attention to you and what you're doing and how you're doing it. And it seems here that they feel that maybe they do things in the same standard or quality as you do, but they're not getting the same results. Maybe they're wondering, like, why is Pisces getting more views, more likes, more money, more um, followers on Instagram? Why is Pisces getting better results, seemingly, if we're doing the same thing or if I'm working harder than Pisces? That could be the thought. Another thought that may come could be the opposite, actually. They may be like, that's so odd, because Pisces is doing this way better, and they're working way harder, and for some reason they're not getting the results. So it's, it's like this person is just looking your way and wondering about why they're like delays. Then we got another seven. Seven of Swords. Okay, so there could definitely be a little bit of jealousy here. The first energy, not so much. The second one, yeah, a little bit. Someone here... Someone here, and it's not you, Pisces. Someone here has a very strong lack mentality. This could be this person's like parents, or partner, or friends, or circle. And they're basically feeding this person this idea that whatever clients you have, whatever success you have, is success or clients that they don't get. As if that was a very finite uh, resource. Spirit is telling you here, that's not how it works. There is an abundance and there's plenty for everyone, you know. Um, but this person is not necessarily thinking that way. So this could be someone who feels obligated to... I don't know, try to bring you down maybe? But just because they want your clients? I don't know, it's, it's something like that, it's a little odd. 
but it's definitely influenced by someone in their life with a very negative mentality. Could be a Capricorn. There's a Capricorn here who could be maybe jealous of you or maybe mad for you. They may feel like you're not getting your just rewards or the opposite. They may feel like you're getting very unjust positive rewards. But there's a toxicity here that I don't like. This person is thinking a lot about you. I feel like there is someone here who's angry for you. So this is odd. I'm definitely getting a lot of different energies, Pisces. Um, there is someone here who's very protective. This could be someone in your family. This could be a mother figure. This could be a father figure. But there is someone here who's like, why is Pisces not ahead? Why is Pisces working so hard and getting so little? And it seems like this person has this like idea that maybe someone is doing magic on you or someone is sabotaging you or something and they're angry for you. And they want to defend you. That's one of the options. <laughs> Uh, one of the energies showing up here. Another interpretation, though, is that someone is feeding negativity to maybe like a friend of yours, competitor, co-worker, feeding them the idea that they need to bring you down, down somehow. There's a protective energy here, guarding someone fiercely. They feel that the person who needs protection has become very insecure due to an influence that has sabotaged the success. So this could be about the person in their family, if it's not you, or this could be someone feeling that way about you. Like someone has harmed you, affected you somehow. There could be someone who's like praying a lot for you and almost like doing energy work on your behalf to clear you, protect you, remove any kind of curses and things like that on your behalf without you knowing. That is a possibility as well. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, or Scorpio. All right, okay. So, Spirit, next energy. Who is thinking about Pisces right now and why? What is, who is, what is the second energy? Um, the second strongest energy that is focusing on Pisces right now and why? Please be as specific as possible, detailed as possible, so we get all the messages clearly. Who is this second energy thinking... A lot about Pisces and why. Oh my god, again, the Seven of Swords. Oh boy. Pisces. There is someone here that simply can't stand seeing you happy and it bothers me because look at you being all victorious and lovely, very peaceful energy. You have a big victory. This is a card of success, being emotionally fulfilled, happy, joyful. And then there's this person here who can't seem to be comfortable with the idea that you can be comfortable too. There is someone here who's like obsessed with bringing you down somehow, Pisces. And it just it annoys me because it often shows up in the readings. There is someone here who only think about themselves. They think 
for some reason, they think that they can't be successful and have you be successful at the same time. They have a very, very limited point of view in which apparently in their world, there's only one stage for the bazillion people on earth. And it's like you or them. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I don't particularly know how to relate to this energy. I see things very differently. But this person is getting a tower moment. This person is getting a tower moment because they're greedy and they want to have everything for themselves. Yeah, it's like this person wants to be the only one. You know, in the tower, look at this illustration because this is the cat tarot. I think it's a crazy cat tarot or something like that. Um, and the illustration is one of those like cat gyms, right? Those toys that are like a tower of like cat games or whatever. And it's like both cats are fighting because they want to be the only cat on it. And they end up both falling off the thing. And that is what bothers me, Pisces. Because I feel like this is almost like an extension of energy one. It's very similar. If it's not the same, it's odd. Because I find it very similar. Um... Someone here is under this idea that if they are not number one, then everything amounts to nothing. And it's like, what does that even mean, number one? According to what? What standards? Is it, is it a price that they're competing for with you? Is it a contract? Is it a job? Is it a position? I don't know, Pisces. But I see you winning effortlessly. And that must piss them off so bad. I feel like this person could be someone like a karmic connection you've had from past lives. This person may have been around for a while. And they seem to have this mission to turn your Ten of Cups into Ten of Swords. <laughs> Emotional happiness and fulfillment turn that into um, rock bottoms, difficulties. It seems like they want to turn your six of wands, your victory, your success, your moment to shine, the recognition you deserve, into you being stuck and lost. Spirit, why is this person so obsessed with Pisces? Okay, I heard past lives, past lives. So what is your recommendation for Pisces? High Priestess, okay. Navigate this with your spiritual awareness. Navigate this with your understanding and your connection to spirit. Navigate this by being the higher person, protecting your energy, or the bigger person, whatever it is that they say. Um, Try not to hold resentment. Try not to lower your frequency. Protect yourself. Cleanse yourself. Heal yourself. And keep doing what you're doing. Let this person just fight their own imaginary battle. And keep doing what you need to be doing. Celebrate your successes. Grieve your failures. But don't hold this person responsible for them. Okay? Because at the end of the day... They can be and exist only to bring you down, and that doesn't necessarily mean that they will. And that doesn't necessarily give them the power to do that. Spirit is very, very clearly on your side here <laughs> with this. Um, and it's just like, let your connection to spirit be so strong that it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter what they think. It doesn't matter if they're thinking of you or not. It doesn't matter if they are jealous or not. You know, let this person just be wherever the hell their mind is and just away. However, I do sense the need to protect your energy, which you should always protect your energy. You know, this is not just something that happens and not now, right now, you're under the emergency of needing to protect your energy. No. You're a Pisces, you're a spiritual being, you're very connected to all realms at the same time. And in a way, it's just part of your 
hygiene. <laughs> it's like showering, you know? You don't have to wait to be covered in mud in order to shower. You just shower every day, right? Well, same thing with energy. Page of Cups. Okay. Interesting. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio person. Also could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But you do you, boo. You do you. Okay? Don't let this person's really weird way of thinking create discomfort for you. It's kind of like the same energy in the first one. You know, maybe some of you listening to this, you may have seen like, oh, the energy one is this one and the energy two is that one. If that's the case, comment below. For the majority of you, I think it just sort of merged into one. All right, spirits, angels, beings of love and light, please bring in the most detailed description of the third main energy that is thinking a lot about Pisces these days and why. Seven of Cups. Lots of sevens. So if there is someone that you associate with the number seven, you know, that could be the case. This could be someone who was born in 97 or 2007 or 77, whatever. I don't know. Seven seems relevant here. Seven of Swords again. Jeez. What I'm getting now is someone looking at you and being like, I don't understand how Pisces is bombarded with crap, but somehow they turn that crap into treasures. <laughs> it's like... Someone is frustrated with your alchemical abilities of turning something negative into something positive. It's like they're annoyed by your ability to do that. Like they don't have the same ability. I don't understand. I do feel like this energy is different. I feel like this is a different person. Okay, so if you have a current romantic partner... This is one of their exes. They don't understand why the person towards you is loving and healthy and patient and kind and all the good things you would want in someone. But with them, they were very much the opposite. You may have recently posted something on social media about you guys. You may have... Some of you recently started dating this person, others of you recently got engaged or married. Married, um, Whatever the case is, it got to their ears, you know, they heard something about you. Something probably very positive, how happy you are, how happy they are, how much they like you, something like that. And they... They don't want to focus on you. They don't want to think about you. They don't want to think about this. But constantly, they're bombarded with these thoughts of like, why was this person so fucking toxic with me? And now with Pisces, it's like they're the perfect partner. Like, I don't get it. And it makes them very annoyed towards you and towards your partner. However, I do sense that some of these, you know, people feeling this way do have the awareness to say, well, you know, maybe that's what I brought in that person. That's what that person brought in me, brought out in me. Because sometimes that happens, right? Um, this person feels lonely 
they they don't necessarily want to be with your partner but they do wonder like why why couldn't i make that work like pisces is making it work it's like they're longing for something and they do wonder like why pisces and not me They're hoping to manifest their own love story. And probably they will. I don't sense that much negativity from this person, but there is, like, it bugs them, you know, it bothers them. It's like, why though? Like, what did I miss? What did I do? What did I not do? What did I say? Like, what was wrong, right? Yeah. All right, so, yeah. Seven of Swords in three out of three. Yikes. You know what? I want to read the description of the Seven of Swords for you. Let me just get whatever tarot book I have close to me. And let's see. Okay, here it is. Oh, this is very short, though. Let me get another one. So the idea is for it to be longer <laughs> than the meaning that I've been giving it. You know, sometimes as readers, we use keywords and, you know, we go back and forth and we get used to, like, uh, like the minimal version of cards. And for some reason, I feel like we can benefit from a very long explanation of this one. Because it have come up three times out of three cards. Like, that's insane. By the way, you guys, please make sure to book your 2025 forecast if you would like yours. That would be a personalized reading based and done specifically for you. Not for Pisces, but just for you. In which um, we're going to be breaking down every month of 2025 ahead of time to see what is encouraged, what is discouraged, what could happen, what shouldn't happen, you know, all the things so you can get ready for your year ahead, very, very ahead of time. I will leave the link in the description. Here I got the description of the Seven of Swords, and this one is from the Tarot Apocalypsis by Eric Dunn and Kim Huggins. All right? It's just the book that I had closest to me. Not every path you walk runs before you straight and narrow. Many a path is winding, winding taking you on circuits routes. Conventional wisdom eschews this path where it breathes cunning minds and tongues of honey, yet few see that it is shaped this way to find a smoother path around obstacles. I am the snake that slithers between the gaps and the winding road of deception. I am the shifter of shape and the double speaker. My words are truth and lies in the same moment. I am the whisper, the whispers behind closed doors and the secret handshakes, the lies told and the palms greased. I am called thief and deceiver, yet I am created by circumstance. I am the one born from weakness and disadvantage, and I have learned my way through failure in the face of the superior. Those who are lauded as paragons, as virtuous, as good. Yet these are the same that would rush headlong and proud into danger, taking risks and caring for, and caring not for their consequences. I say this one thing plainly to you. The fight of the arrow is often of course. All the sevens of the tarot are associated with flux, movement, flow, and fluidity. In the airy intellectual suit of swords, this flux has both positive and negative connotations. It may inspire the movement and trade of ideas, but it may also encourage the, te the theft and pursuits of duplicity and manipulation. In the card image, well, we don't have that particular card, so skip that. So this is about trickery, deception, manipulation, shifting one's intentions, saying one thing, meaning another, deliberately confusing speech, misleading others, theft of ideas or work, character assassination, politi political mach machinations, jeez, there's a lot of words I don't know, putting others at a disadvantage, taking credit where it's not due. Yeah, that's what I feel 
like all three energies hold against you somehow. Wrongly accusing others of blame or wrongdoing, misplaced distrust, false victimhood, safeguarding one's ideas or work, fear of being manipulated or deceived. Maybe this is how you feel. Fear of being manipulated and deceived. However, the fact that this card is showing up in all three is there's someone around here that wish they could manipulate you, trick you, bring you down somehow, sabotage you. Just because they wish it doesn't mean that they can do it, Pisces, okay? Alrighty, my love. So this is what I got for you today. Comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next reading, Pisces. Remember, in the description box below, you're going to find the booking link. There is a early bird discount on the 2025 personalized forecast. Take advantage of that. And if you need additional um, support with payments, you can pay in two or three payments so that it's easier for you and you don't have to feel it, okay? Alrighty, my loves. I'll leave everything below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Pisces.